right guys welcome back to another episode of graveyard creepers and what i'm going to do today is show you how to just make labels for old jugs plastic jugs glass jugs it doesn't matter uh what i got here it's uh it's an embalming fluid it's called nitro uh cavity chemical and i think it's a pretty cool uh, label so we're going to put this uh, well, I already got this one on here, but we're, we've got another one here. I got some embalming fluid right here. We're gonna put on a big glass jar. I've got another nitro chemical sign I cut out, made it smaller and cut it out. And uh, I'm gonna show you what we can do. Um, embalming fluid comes in different colors. It comes in pinks, uh, blues, and reds. I mean, it just comes in all kinds of different colors. So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put some water in this and we're gonna dye it. I got some dye here, or some uh, watercolors, food coloring. Got some food coloring. So we're gonna put some water in this and put some food coloring in it. And we'll have us uh, some embalming fluid prop. And I, I just love the, uh, the nitrile thing that they've made. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to take it off take them off the jug and put them on a jug now some of these will peel right off and some of them you're going to have to treat with some kind of like chemical and this is where i got here i got turtle wax label and sticker remover so we'll probably end up using this on this jug now you can't run some hot water under it and scrape it off over a period of time but usually i found on glass that uh, you need something to help you out. Um, plastic, not so much. So let's put some water in this. So what this is, guys, this is an old uh, hand sanitizer bottle. So when I peeled the label off of it, it stayed sticky. And if you look at the back, it's still sticky here. I could have put something on the back and it would have probably stuck as I did the front, but I'm not gonna worry about it because I got I got some Super 77 so we can spray it on jugs, jars, or whatever you want to do and go that way. So I'm going to probably, I'm probably going to make this one kind of like a reddish pink color. See what we get. Put your three or four drops in, shake it up and uh, see if that's the color you want. Oh, I love that color. Check that color out. That's just water and uh, food coloring. So there we go, guys. There's one bottle of our nitro cavity chemical. So what we're gonna do, we got this big gun jug that actually had wine in it and we made some homemade wine and it's been sitting here for a while, so we're gonna take this label off and uh, clean this jug up and put another label on. So let's take this label off. So there we go guys, now we've got a full jug of water. Uh, it's got some berries still stuck to the side, but it'll be fine. We'll wipe this off. 
So normally how I like to put my stuff on is able where you can see the handle and this will be the front. So that's what we're going to shoot for. So we will do that. We'll stick it out like that somehow. So I put hot water in this and what I'm going to do guys, instead of spraying this jug, I'm going to spray this with the Super 77. So, my, ooh, yeah, heck, that's already tacked up. Tacked up pretty quick. Okay, good. And what I got in these jugs here, guys, this is, this is actually alcohol in these, in these here. Now, get, use this to clean my hands off. Use that, use uh, alcohol, clean your hands off. Like that. I'm going to spray this out a little more. Okay, looks pretty good. So there we go, guys. That's on that bottle there. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. So there, there that is. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some more food colored in there. And the hardest part about all this guys, The hardest part about this project is, is choosing your collar that you want your embalming fluid to be. So I'm going to put a little bit of blue in here. I, I want a light blue, so I'm going to put a drop or two. And we'll shake it up and see what it does. If we want it darker, we'll go darker. Oh, it's got a pretty color to it. Check it out, guys. That's just a couple drops of blue, and it turned it like an aqua color. That is pretty as all get out. And if you notice anything about my bombing fluid, most of that I've seen is a light color. It isn't like a super dark color. So I think I like that. I think I think we're just gonna leave it like that. And uh yeah. So there's that one. Here's our nitrile, which is pretty cool. And how I got, what I was gonna do with these guys is I got more here that I was gonna put on, on here and we can make uh, another one. The only thing with these here, they are not clear. They're kind of white colored. So you still can you can still you can still use these even though they're like colored and just give it some color inside and that should tint it up just a little bit see what i'm saying guys some of these stickers will peel right off here if you be careful and what this does is it'll leave a sticky residue behind it that you can almost use your next sticker for Go ahead and turn it off of here. Like I said, this is just a bottle of alcohol. It's it's out of date, so it's no good. Well, I'm sure it's okay, but since it's out of date, we're going to use it. We're going to use the bottle. And probably what I'm going to do, guys, is use the alcohol inside of it as well. 
and I'm just going to food color that dye. So I'm going to put it about like that. So spray some more stuff on here. Super 77. So there you go guys, we got three bottles of nitrile cavity chemical. It's pretty cool. Let's see if we can't dye this. And we're going to use a, let's use a green. We got red and blue. Let's try a green. I don't know how that's going to look in there with alcohol and a white bottle. That's going to look like alcohol. Look at that guys, it looks like the old green alcohol, remember those? Let's fill that back up. I like it. So there's our uh, nitro cavity chemical again. And the good thing is, guys, too, I have the square one we can make. We can take this off and put a label on this one too. And what I like about this squared one is it has a medical cross on it, on each side. And I like that, I think that would be cool if we do that one. Uh, we'll save that for a later day project. But right now I wanted to show you these. So right there you go, our embalming fluid. Uh, embalming fluid says post-mortem, anticoagulant, and these are nitrile cavity chemicals. I think they're pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So there you go guys, here's our uh, nitro, uh, it's called nitro cavity chemical. So there you go guys, here's our nitro cavity chemicals. Uh, we made an old wine jug and we put some embalming fluid on it. Same way with this one here, we put some nitro cavity uh, chemicals, that's an embalming fluid. Now guys, you, you know these embalming fluids come in different colors. so. Uh, we just used food coloring and uh, we made our own so hope you guys enjoy the video and hope this inspires you to make your own stuff just look at some pretty cool stuff online print it out cut it out put it on the bottle uh, it's fun stuff to do so there you go guys we appreciate you watching the video and as always it don't have to be perfect guys just build it and uh, Go over and check out uh, Cobwebs and Candlesticks and The Weird Kid Show. Make sure you go over and subscribe and like and share their videos. Uh, they've got a bunch of builds on there and they're continuing building. Just We're just at a little slower, play, slower pace. So anyway, guys, we appreciate you watching. And as always, it don't have to be perfect. Just build it. 
And we'll see you on the next video, guys. So stay tuned. There's our embalming fluid, nitro, our nitro cavity chemical.